Hey there, starting to work on the greenhouse today. Hopefully you guys got a chance to watch the last video in which I talked all about the greenhouse, the history and everything. There was a couple questions. Let me address some of them quickly. This greenhouse has been here since about 2014 and Matt and Chase have been, were, you know, had bought the greenhouse and we're using it here and just renting that little bit of land from Raleigh City Farm. So it's been here the whole time and it's had different people using it over the last couple of years, but it is now ours. And so what the first thing I mentioned before we need to do is get the gravel out. So that's what we're working on today. Let me take you guys inside, show you what's going on in here and what the plan's gonna be. All right, so here we are inside the greenhouse and we've gotten started in here. What we're gonna do is we were gonna try to maximize the number of beds in the greenhouse, but the reality is we need a lot of nursery space and I don't want that to be a constraint whatsoever now that we have a greenhouse set up that we're gonna use for that. So we're gonna be putting uh, four beds on this side over here and then have a walkway down the middle. And then over here, we're gonna do two beds and then we're gonna basically set up our nursery tables along this wall here. And that'll give us, I think, enough space to do as many nursery starts as we need, especially in the springtime, and maybe do some other propagation and things like that in here. So this is a slow process, but we got a lot of people here and we're just kind of taking our time with it. This does not have to get finished today, but you can hopefully see some of the progress here. Um, there is a uh, landscape fabric down under the gravel. So we're doing our best to remove all the gravel. We'll get that up and uh, we'll go from there. Slow progress, but making headway. All right, so we got a lot of work to do. Cue the rock music. Is that good? All right, so as you guys can see, we're, uh, we're chugging along pretty well here and making good progress. This isn't something you could probably do all day. It's pretty tiring for everybody, but you know, if we even get like half of this um, taken care of today, that would be a great start, but it's coming along nicely. We're getting most of the rocks out. It's awesome. All right, so I'm out here in the driveway and this is where we're putting all the gravel. And so that was our first idea, which is turning out to be a good idea was to essentially turn a problem into a solution. So the problem was the gravel in the uh, greenhouse solution is gravel in the driveway. So this, um, we have two driveways on the, on the farm here. This is the longer one and sort of the main entrance way to the farm. There's also another driveway over there and that, but that one's paved. And so that one we don't have to really worry about. So this one was just dirt and it gotten pretty rutted up on either side. There was like a hump down the middle. And so, I was kind of just thinking that we'd have enough gravel just to fill in the, um, the ruts essentially just to create a level surface, but it's looking like we'll probably have enough to make a, a total even driveway here. And this is going to be awesome because, uh, you know, as we're driving in and out, obviously with our cars, but getting deliveries of, you know, compost and, and wood chips and stuff like that, it'll make everyone's life a lot easier. And also as a farm stand customer, when they're coming in, they'll be able to like, you know, hang out on a nice gravel driveway instead of just being rutted and kind of a trip hazard almost. So this is going to be a big upgrade for us. And, the other thing is by pulling all that gravel out, if we didn't have somewhere to store it, we'd have, probably have to pay to remove it or you know, figure out a way to have someone come and pick it up for us because there's a lot of material. So again, turning a problem into solution, awesome. This is gonna be great for us. All right, so that's about it for today. Uh, just a big strong push this morning, just kind of what we had time for. And I think we're just gonna chip away at this over the next week or two and try to get this all cleared out. So you can see this is essentially, uh, we're gonna put four beds right here and we're gonna do 50 foot beds. So we have a little more to clear out here, but this is generally what it's gonna be. Uh, then we'll have a walkway down the middle and then we're gonna put two more beds here, as I said, and then the, um, the nursery is gonna be along that side there. So still a ton of work to do, but getting the bulk of the gravel out is really the first project here. And you can sort of start to see how we're gonna lay this out. I think it's gonna be awesome. And let me show you back here. All right, so this is the south side of the greenhouse here and we're gonna the beds will end somewhere over here and then we're gonna leave this area back here for nursery work. So we'll put a potting table here, probably a germination chamber, storage for trays and potting mix and all those sorts of things down in this area here. Um, and that way we don't have to worry so much about the shadow from all this behind us here. And also this water tank that's underground here from the hydroponic system, we'll be able to uh, probably cap this off and not have to worry about like pulling it out and stuff or some other more complicated things if we were trying to use this ground to grow in, but we can like cover this and just use this as a workspace. So we don't really have to worry about it being 
underground over here. So anyways, want to share with you guys the progress. I'll keep you guys updated and really excited about this. It's going to be a great thing for us at Raleigh City Farm to not only have more covered growing, but to have a nursery and a way that we can do all of our own starts here on the farm instead of me having to do them at home and also be able to teach that to, uh, to all the interns and people that are here. And it's just an unbelievable thing that we have going on here. And as I've always said, we are not scared of big projects here at Raleigh City Farm. And this is definitely one of those projects. But it feels like after, you know, take care of the whole field and the irrigation system and all the wash, all this wash station, all the stuff that we did this spring, you know, it's just like we have a lot of confidence in, uh, in our abilities and our team and just our, um, you know, tenacity to get it done. So hope you enjoyed this. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you hit subscribe if you want to keep seeing this content. We'll see you in the next one.